Hi there! Let's look at how you can keep your data in Azure SQL Managed Instance from leaking to an unauthorized Azure Storage account using Service Endpoint policies. Data exfiltration is a growing concern for today's digital businesses. Global data exfiltration market is projected to breach 100 billion US dollars globally through 2026, growing at a rate faster than that of healthcare, insurance, or retail. In 2020, Data theft was predominantly done through email and via misuse of cloud collaboration privileges. Azure SQL Managed Instance supports Azure's rich set of authentication and authorization controls that can and should be applied in systems architecture to close off potential data exfiltration paths. Owing to its co-location and high performance, Azure Storage is useful in a range of integration workflows. Interestingly, malicious actors also consider it handy for the very same reason. This makes Azure Storage an important factor to secure as a defense against intentional and accidental data leaks. Azure Networking provides a mechanism called Service Endpoint Policies. With Service Endpoint Policies, you can declare which Azure Storage accounts are safe sources and destinations for your data. This mechanism protects a range of scenarios, including backups, database migration and log replay services, logging extended and auditing events, transactional replication, data virtualization, and a few more SQL commands that directly target Azure Storage. In general, if your managed instance does not need to talk to an Azure Storage account, it should be closed off from it. Let's see how. To obtain this level of control, we must first route our outbound connections to Azure Storage through a single point. This point is called Service Endpoint. It collects all traffic from our subnet to Azure Storage, establishes a priority route over Azure Backbone Network, and enables additional security controls. To turn it on, we can visit our managed instance, select its virtual network, and subnet. And in the Service Endpoints dropdown, tick the box next to Microsoft.Storage. Then click Save. With the Service Endpoint in place, we can assign Service Endpoint policies to our subnet. This is where we'll state which storage accounts are OK for our instance to connect to. Let's create a policy now. In Basics, we choose the subscription and the resource group where to place this policy. We give it an informative name. And in Location, we select the region where our Azure SQL Managed Instance is. In Policy Definitions, under Resources, we can name individual accounts, resource groups, or all accounts in a subscription. In this demo, we'll scope it to a single account. We choose the subscription, a resource group, and the storage account that will be permitted by this policy. Of course, we can list multiple resources. Under aliases, because this policy will apply to a managed instances subnet, we need to explicitly call this out. We'll add a service alias to managed instance. Then review and create, and create. Here's our service endpoint policy. We can associate it now with our Managed Instances subnet. In Associated Subnets, we choose Edit Subnet Association and add the virtual network and the subnet where our Managed Instance resides. Hit Apply and that's it. Let's recap. On our Managed Instances subnet, we've enabled the service endpoint then applied a service endpoint policy to only allow outbound traffic to specific Azure storage accounts. This managed instance can't access other storage accounts, and neither can a prospective data thief nor a forgetful colleague. To learn more, visit aka.ms/sqlmi-sep-docs. Thanks for watching.